Hi everyone, in this problem we have to find the Maclaurin series for the cosine of 8x. So in order to do this problem, we're going to use the Maclaurin series for cosine. So the Maclaurin series for cosine is equal to the infinite sum as n runs from 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the n and cosine is an even function, so it only has uh, even powers of x. So if you know that, you know that it's x to the 2n, because 2n is always even. And on the bottom, we have 2n factorial. So easy way to memorize the Maclaurin series for cosine is just remember that cosine is an even function and 2n is even, so it's always going to have uh, this form. So all we have to do now is replace x with 8x. So the cosine of 8x is equal to the infinite sum as n runs from 0 to infinity. And again, just replace the x with 8x. So it'll be negative 1 to the n. Then here we have 8x to the 2n, because that was our x over, and then we have 2n factorial. And that's pretty good. You could simplify it a little bit more. I'll go ahead and do that. Usually if you have like fractions or negatives that are being raised to a power, you, you know, usually you simplify them. Um, in this case, it's not such a big deal, but I'll go ahead and break it up just a little bit more. So it'll be 8 to the 2n, x to the 2n, and then on the bottom, we still have the 2n factorial. And that's it. That's the Maclaurin series for the cosine of 8x. Remember, you can do this, right? Because this holds, this, this original Maclaurin series for cosine holds for all values of x. The cosine of x is equal to this infinite sum for every x. In particular, it's true for 8x. We're allowed to just make a straight substitution. So that's the best way uh, to do this problem because it's the easiest way. Another way of doing this problem would be to do it the long way using like the Taylor series formula, but uh, that's a lot more work. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.